Yeah! What? Out loud? What? <laughs> you alright? No, yeah, I'm okay. What it is, man? It's your boy Mike Rich, Kiki Rich, anything, you feel me? Get that. Hey, y'all. Don't look back, back a little bit right up. Yeah, there you go. How y'all doing? Forgive the reflection in the back, man. It's gonna be getting on my nerve. Anyway. Oh, I finally see what you mean by the reflection. You see it? That's it called it. It's in the thing right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, some people let their cases down so they don't get that reflection. But anyway, so 2022 is almost over. One more day. One more day. You feel me? Um, I'm ready for it to be over. And we ready for the top 10. Yep. Mm -hmm. Kiki agreed to do the top 10 with me. She's kind of excited about her little, her little 10 she got over there. You feel me? <laughs> and, you know, top 10 sneakers of 2022 from your boy Mike and my wife. Kiki. Kiki. Mm -hmm. You ready? I'm ready. Let's just get into it, man. We don't want this video to be a thousand hours long. So, I got honorable mentions. You got honorable mentions? I have two. You have two honorable mentions? I, do. I thought you only had one. I have two. So, this, this, honorable mentions, let's just hold all of them up at the same time so we can be quick with that. Our honorable mentions are... Hold them up, Kiki. I'm holding them. <laughs> I'm holding them. So, Kiki honorable mentions is... Oh, I forgot I even bought those. The um, I don't know what they call. I can't remember the name of them either. Uh, I can't remember the name of them. The only reason they ain't made the top ten is because they're a little bit too big, but I love the colors. So yeah, the Jordan I'm One Low. I feel like I want to say Rose or something, but it's like it's another name I can't think of right now. And, um, and these because these are new balances. They the most comfortable shoe I have, I think. And I just got them, so I'm going to go crazy and go get like a thousand more. But, but they honorable mentions. They honorable mentions. My honorable mentions is hard to put these in the honorable mention. Is the Jordan One Low. EXT. Oh. How you put them in an honorable mention? I don't know. Going crazy it was so close. Them. This was like right outside the top 10. Um, also, the Yellow Toe Jordan 1s. A few years ago, this would, but they make so many of these color blocking like this. A few years ago, this would have been in the top ten. And then uh, I don't. This one should have. So it's so because I buy so many shoes, man. It's hard to put everything because I'm biased towards a lot of silhouettes too. So the Air Jordan One Eighty Five High Georgetown is also an honorable mention. You Sorry, found those for me. They would have definitely been in the top ten. Sorry, ah, it almost made it. A lot of people gonna be like, Rich, you could have took those out easy for one of the, for the Georgetown. I know because I don't seen a couple that you should have <laughs> took out. But. Hey man, it's my top 10. Yeah, it's my top, top 10. 10. You feel me? You ready? Number 10. Yes. Number 10 for me. You got your number 10? I'm number 10. What's your number 10? You go first. I'm going to go first, I'm gonna go first next time. So you got the Air Jordan 1 Low EST yes. for your number my 10. 10. What, why y'all issues on there? I just like it. I mean, for wearability, they different. They match with a lot of stuff. Um, They comfortable too. You like them? I can wear them, yeah. They dope. They clean. I had to, I had to go double back and get yeah. me up here. My number 10 is... The Air Jordan 4, um, I keep forgetting names of everything. These are the pur uh, Canyon Purple Women's Exclusive Air Jordan 4s. They actually came in a size 13 and a half, so my big flip self can have them. They usually don't do that extended sizes, but ooh, Buttery, number 10, uh, Purple Canyon Air Jordan 4s. Uh, uh, you don't really like 4s, I know. I don't, I, and that colorway is sending me. Um, you don't like it? What what, what Where's it those? You gonna come back? I don't know. <laughs> I just the materials is crazy. I love the purple. I love everything. I love the green. I love everything about the shoe. Mm -hmm. The orange pops. It's just a different looking shoe. You don't really see it's shoes giving like giving me like, Joker. Yeah, it's kind of Jokerish. Mm -hmm. you know but anyway, that's my number ten. Number nine, Kiki. I'm gonna go first this time. And how could y'all forget about these? Y'all, y'all just the hype just dwindled. It's like it's like yeah, these were this year. It's like when the hype went away, people was just like, I don't care about them no more. And it's the Air Jordan One OG High. That's why you don't remember because it was so early in the year. Uh, um, and these are called the Rebellionaires. Mm -hmm. I, I, these names gonna gonna drag me today. Uh, with the X on the back, I like the packaging. The, I like the the way the designer just how he, how he had the little sayings all over the shoes and stuff like that. They can't stop you from wearing them. Just really going with the whole band theme of them banning the Jordan ones. I just. It's just a dope shoe to me. I don't know. I, I like it. I still like it. A lot of people with the hype went away. I got tried on these too. Mm, you know who you are. But uh, yeah, man. You reach your action straight from the uh, rebellion of action. So you feel me? Number nine, Kiki. Well, I don't know what they are, but they are still cute. <laughs> what are those? Very, that's one. What are we doing? I don't know. 
Um, I need summer shoes, so. You gotta hold them up close for Kiki, cause uh. They got like canvas, and then the quality of the leather is so dope. Um, the just, leather quality is super soft on these, ain't even. I'm talking about, dang! Yeah. I took the tissue paper out, and it just fell. I gotta show them these up close. Hold up. So, like, the leather quality, bro, like, it's just like really like the softest leather. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna see, man. So, this is Kiki's number nine. I don't even know what the hell the name of these is. Look like some kind of denim wash canvas Jordan 1 Low. So, I'm gonna start. I thought they were cute and I grabbed them. So, well, that's what you're supposed to do. You see them, you think they dope. You're supposed to go in there and grab them. That's Kiki's number nine. Yeah. These, number eight. These are not my number eight. Yeah. Um, I can't wait to wear them. I don't know what I'm wearing with. I'm trying to challenge it and not have on a whole bunch of denim. Um, I love that they have red shoestrings with them or laces. You can call them shoestrings. <laughs> shoestrings. I'm coming around, guys. Um, but they are so. Yo, I was like, so mad that shoe didn't come in my size. To me, so. Uh, I was so mad this shoe didn't come in my size. I be having to hold up. Kiki don't be wanting to hold them up and show y'all. What you want me to do? You was doing this. In the damn camp. I mean, what you. Know what you're doing. But uh yeah man the Jordan one denims. Kiki's number eight, man. It, yes. They hard. They are. I was mad I couldn't get them. I was gonna take my earrings off the front if I, they did come in men's. But. I think I'm gonna take that off too. Just because like I don't think it it don't do that much for me. Yeah. Number eight for me is the LeBron nine. All my stuff Nike too. This the only nine Jordan and everything else Nike. So y'all get ready. If you don't like it, hey, it is what it is. LeBron 9 Big Bang, this is a nostalgic shoe for me. Safety orange, crazy, bright, all-star game shoe. Came back out from the first release in 2011, 12. Mm -hmm. And I just, I just And you had them before? I did, I bought them, I had bought a used pair. Okay. And I just, it just didn't never feel right having that used bucket. It was all balled up and it was the yellow end was on the bottom. I always wanted just a brand new pair of these. Okay. So this had to make the list to count down. Shout out to uh, Bart at Soul Play for uh, looking out for me on this pair, man. Dope. Number eight. Number seven is a Jordan 7. Hey, this is so high on the list. It seemed like it should be way, way lower than this. but. I mean, way higher than this. It's so, so low, it's so low on the list. Especially as bad as you want. Yeah, but... The fact that I already had this shoe, and I already had that one too, I think that's why they put these two so low. Because I've had both of these already, and they're already behind me in the cases. And it's the Air Jordan 7 uh, Citrus, guys. Number, isn't this my number, what, 7? Yes, this shoe is nostalgic for me because we went on, I remember we went on that date. And yeah. he had those on with the little jacket. I'll never forget and that. And I did. This is like one of the first shoes I bought when I first started driving trucks. It was. And I had a, a, a Nietzsche jacket. Mm -hmm. Nietzsche, you know, you and they matched it perfectly. And it matched it perfectly. And that was, that we was supposed oh, to. Was like, We've been together today. so long to the OG. <laughs> the OG drop of this. I was with her when these came out the first time in 2006. I remember when you kind of picked me up. I was like, oh. God, it was ridiculous. <laughs> right, was so Kiki removed it. I didn't even think you were gonna bring that little story up. The Citrus Sevens had to have them in the collection once again. They sitting, y'all tripping, but hey, it is what it is. All right, Kiki, number seven. What are they? Uh, those are the Jordan One Low UNC, I guess. They got the same kind of color as the UNC High, so that's why we call them the UNC University Blue, whatever you want to call it. Yes, they super dope to me. I just oh, I, w I wonder the color. That should have been one of my honorable mentions. I got, they got to be cleaned off because I have wore these. I wear all my shoes. They, um, but they don't here. You wanna, you got to do it right. <laughs> I just want to hold one. This should have been on my list. I mean, my honorable mentions at least, man. I love this shoe too. So yeah, yeah. Now these are what's this number six? Number six. So these are like oh getting my down to God, it. I cannot wait for the summer. I can wear them in a one or two, but I got so many ideas. Oh, the yellow laces here. And these yellow laces. I love a yellow shoe. Like I just do. And yellow isn't even my favorite color, but it's something about the yellow shoe. But this Air Max one. The quality of leather on here is ridiculous. Buttery, straight um, butter. And it's just, it's so wearable to me, for me. Um, so yeah. yeah, that definitely had that. They're straight butter, Keeks. Yeah, they are. Um, and then they're, I think they call lemon or something. Something like that. I don't know, but I wanted them so bad. So I actually bought them myself. And then wait on my... <laughs> I ain't buy those for you. You did absolutely not buy those. Okay. Uh, we want to start going through everything I bought and everything I didn't buy? I mean, come on to the glazing. I mean, I'm just... So, number six, OG status on beef unless I eat to. Oh, eat. Oh, <laughs> this is the Air Jordan 3 
fire red things out. Ah, I couldn't leave this out. I just couldn't leave this out. It's crazy because I wasn't even gonna buy this shoe. I went back to get it. You know what I'm saying? Later on. Because uh, they were sitting on Nike sneakers, I think. Nike sneakers out. So, uh, OG Fire Reds. I love the, the fact that they starting to do the more slim down shape on Jordan 3s instead of doing that real fat shape that they were doing for a long time. So, and then it's an OG colorway in Chicago. Nike L on the ass. Y'all already know. I mean, it's just, it's classic. That's all you gotta say. Classic number six. You feel me? My number five is. And I feel like this should have been higher, but I got it's so many shoes dropped that I just really love. It was a good year for shoes. I thought it was gonna be a trash year when it first started, but it ended up being a pretty good year. Number five is top five, top five, top five. At least it made the top five. <laughs> At least it made the top five. Air Jordan Seven Cardinal OG colorway. This shoe just released recently and is still sitting at the malls. I don't care. It's one of my favorite shoes. Like I said, every time I talk about the shoe, I talk about the airtime Jordan, Michael Jordan documentary when he was wearing these. He had a little short suit with the little tank top that went with it, man. I watched that documentary a million times. And every time, like, man, the car was just so clean. I ain't never had these as a kid. Got them now. I did have a 2011 pair. I bought those used as well. Mm -hmm. And it, I hated the shape on them. It didn't look like the OG, so I sold them. So. Finally got the OG status, D standing in the collection. Cardinal uh, seven is my number five. What's your number five, Keeks? My number five is another Jordan one. Y'all know that Jordan ones are my favorite silhouette, <laughs> so I be Jordan one of y'all to death. But um, these is a clean pair right here. Though. I don't know the name of them. They are Varsity love, Red, I think. I just love the fact that the shit was 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 uh, the swoosh has the swoosh love. was uh, it's a, carpet. It's called it. something actually. That material I don't know the name of it. Though. And this kind of reminded me of some Cartwrights. Oh, yeah, tongue. And then I love the off white of the seal um, oh, laces. Is. And then so look. they just really wear, but I have really realized about myself that I like red shoes a lot too. Um, and so I have other red shoes, but to me, I had been wearing them so much, and I was like, oh my gosh, I ain't gonna be able to have them anymore. <laughs> so I needed to get some more yeah, red ones. And you got a couple of fire red ones yeah. this year. This, this swoosh material actually remind me of like when you got a letterman jacket like a uh, it does. Uh, uh, what you call it a uh, varsity jacket uh -huh. and that's I guess where they get the varsity I don't know uh -huh. that's remind me of the lettering on the varsity jacket yeah. so. these are super dope so clean definitely gonna wear them. another shoe I was mad then part coming about it is all of these top ones are ones that I haven't really even put my feet in I ain't put my if feet they, in none of these so how are they even the top if you ain't even wearing them because I got look at it behind me yeah, I'd be overwhelmed by the amount of shoes that I got I've amassed over these last couple of years. I have to get rid of some of them. So, going further into the top five. Yes, four. Is number four. Yes, and for me, it was this Bo Jackson. When so I tell y'all, like, oh my gosh, I've always wanted a pair. They came out, and then Mike bought him a pair, and didn't buy me a pair. Because you I had yours first, and I was like, "How dare you?" Back in like, 2017, I didn't know, I didn't know those ones that you had. Yeah, I didn't get these this year. It was something. I don't know. I got to blame. Look at you. <laughs> got to blame something on me. <laughs> but nonetheless, when they came out again, they had came out, and then you didn't. But you you were showing them on a the video, and I was like, "How you didn't pick them up?" It was something like that. Yeah. Nonetheless, I didn't know you wanted. He made good at being. Now I'm looking. Got me now that I'm looking at them, they are so freaking cute. Like, I just love everything about them. So, I can't Auburn, wait these. Auburn, Bo Jackson. Yeah, they like the original colorway. And it's... Looking at it, it seems like the colors... I have to put those side by side on mine. It seems like the colors are more bold on, on this release. On this year's release. I don't know, but when I step, like, let me be clear with you. Yeah, they, they're fire. <laughs> I can't wait. Without a doubt, we loving the Bo Jacksons yes, over yes, here. Yes, yes, yes. I'm on my number four? Yeah. Number four! Woo! We almost done. Good. Number four... Is the Air Jordan 4. 4 is the Air Jordan 4. It's the I'm I'm Air Jordan 4. These are so heavy. Um, uh, but. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> boom, boom. Kicking out trees. <laughs> that's, that's what we doing. But yeah, man, great quality shoe. <laughs> You're gonna be moving kind of slow in them, dog. Nike Air on the tail. Like, <laughs> I'm just glad I was able to get me a pair of these. A lot of people wanted these, man, and these going for like these. These going for like high, the prices keep going back up, and it's gonna keep going higher. So I'm glad I was able to get my pair before the price just got ridiculously stupid. I paid three hundred dollars for it, which is a little bit over retail. 
Uh, shout out to my boy Seth Brundles on Instagram. You feel me, my boy Juan, mm-hmm. for looking out for me on these things right here, man. Appreciate you. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, number uh, three, Kiki. You go. Oh, it's my turn. What, this is this is so hard, and it's going to piss a lot of people off. It's going to piss a lot of people off. It's your, it's your It's my top off. ten, though. It's my top ten. Because they're going to say that this shoe should have been high on the list. Okay. But the Air Jordan 1 OG high. Chicago, aka Lost and Found. The reason that they are number what three is because I had the Chicago's already. Mm-hmm. I had the 2015 Chicago's, so I went. I was excited about these, but not as excited as everybody else because mm-hmm. I already pretty much had the shoe. You know what I'm saying? I can drip the, the shoe, but I mean, y'all already know the way they did this shoe, the way they did the um, the theme around it, the Lost and Found theme. It was just real dope, and one of the top. Wanted shoes that everybody wanted this year was this shoe, man. You know what I'm saying? Even you, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, number three. What's your number three, Keeks? My number three is the Cardinals. Um, this is actually the first pair of Jordans that I've ever owned. I think I was in the fifth or the sixth grade. They almost didn't make the countdown. They almost, how they didn't. Because you almost didn't. I almost get didn't them. get them. Like I, I wasn't making a big deal about them at first. I only ended up getting them because they were sitting. Because if it was gonna be something I had to chase down, I ain't chasing. I'm yeah. not doing all that. <laughs> um, mm-mm. So, but I remember I had told my uncle that I needed some sneakers. My mama would never buy me sneakers when I was young. She just felt like I was. I was a tomboy. Have always been, and she wanted, she wanted, wanted me to girly wear stuff. girly stuff. So she would not buy me. Boyish stuff, and I lied and told my uncle that I had basketball trials. <laughs> and you got some Jordan Sevens. <laughs> for me to get those, yeah. The rich, the OGs, like uh, in the nineties, like I was in the like the fifth grade or the sixth yeah, grade. Yeah, these came out in ninety two. So, yeah. yeah, wow. I sure did. That's a dope story. And he bought them for you. He bought them for me. And then the crazy part about it is, I remember having like a purple jogging suit that I wore with this. Well, I like, bet it was clean even, though. I bet it was no, clean. No, it was like a Walmart jogging suit or something. But you didn't know. I'm better. saying I bet it was so nineties though. Oh yeah, like, right now to be vintage. vintage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yep. So, so that's a that's a great story. The fact that you have stories to go behind some of these shoes. Yeah. You need to try them on though. My boy, uh, shout out to Fly's Trucker, said that they run a little big, so we might have I can already tell they're going to be a little bit too big. If they are though, we can take them back and we can just order you because they still sit in retail in a lot of places. Yeah. A seven or a seven and a half. Somebody actually hit me up my DM said they had a smaller size of that shoe. Oh, for real. I'm going to try mine on too because I might have take mine back to foot lock and get an 11 and a half but if they yeah. are too big. Yeah, but they super clean. I'm Oof. definitely going to wear them. I don't necessarily love, like I had the hairs. And but they were much bigger at that time or something. I don't the, know. The shape either. was off and they was yeah, and I, it was I wide. Sold them. I went all like the, one time and sold them. I still got my um, hairs and all the, the shape on all of them shoes. These are hairs right here. And I think after the ones, sixes are my my favorite silhouette. Let's look, but let's look at the shape um, difference. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a lot. Different. The shape difference is just so much more different. It's just. They, from now on, go with this shape. Yeah. <laughs> they they gonna end up releasing all the all these with that shape watch. Yeah. So and I already got them, so. so. I'm a little bit worried. I said that to say I'm a little bit worried because I did not like how the hairs fit on my feet. But and I, I prefer a six over a seven. But it was so nostalgic. I had to have it. So, so shout out to you. Yeah. Shout out to you. That was number what three? That was number three. Number two for Ooh, me. Oh, that's number two. That's <laughs> high, Kiki. Two. I needed this shoe so bad. That um, is high weird. for that Why shoe. Why is it shaped like this? Because it got something the tissue paper inside it. Oh, they reshaping my shoe now. Oh uh, yeah, it ain't gonna reshape. You wanna check it out? <laughs> yes. Yeah, they make you feel a little bit better. Uh, so Kiki's number, what is this? Two. Two. Mm-hmm. That's better. <laughs> you can lace some shoe straight tight. It's weird because they didn't come unlaced like most of the Jordan ones. They didn't. Those or the denims. So the, women, right. the women's exclusives, they kind come of laced up. up, right. But the quality on these are crazy. Um, I love the fact that they do remind me of an autumn shoe just because they black and black, uh, orange and brown. Orange like, and brown. Um, they, from what I heard, because you know how the other shoe got the little brown tassel on it? Mm-hmm. It's based off a Birkin bag. Somebody told me that. Mm, I can see that happening. You know um, but I don't know. Super wearable. I needed an orange shoe. I missed out on all of the... Shout out backboards and all those type of things, but honestly, these are just so they so classy to me for some reason. Um, so, so I can't wait to wear these. It remind me of polo rugby. It just remind me of like rugby and then the polo because like you know how they little belts and stuff and they had when you go to the polo at Lennox, they used to have it like that anyway. Look real classy and just like you know like the cat remind you the polo. But um, you going to your number one now? No, no, you got to do your number two. Oh my number two. Okay, all right, all right. You can't count. <laughs> Cause something wrong. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Um, oh, that was ridiculous. Number two, and I guess these are over the Chicago ones. That's surprising. Because I'm a seven head. Yeah. And I really wanted this shoe. Shot of balling on the budget. Um, 
aka Frank Nitty, for the Air Jordan 7 Trophy Room, new sheriff in town. Um, I always look for them to show love to Jordan 7. Jordan 7 is my favorite silhouette. And I they always do collabs and crazy materials on all these other silhouettes, but Seven never get no love. Even though it's, the only thing I don't like <laughs> is it's based on the Olympic, which is so similar to the Olympic. That's what I was thinking. But because I wish I wish they would have went with another theme for it. But it's still a super clean shoe as far as the materials. Like <laughs> if they didn't do the Olympic so many times with the tinkers and all that, I probably have a little bit more, even more appreciation. But <clears throat> damn. <clears throat> yeah, you just passed it over here. Shut up. But um, <laughs> the materials on this shoe is crazy. I just tried the shoe on for the first day today. It feels so good on feet. It's comfortable. Olympic vibes, trophy room vibes. Uh, got the whole story behind the new sheriff in town. And Jordan, they was playing a scrimmage game. And Jordan was shining on Magic and Larry Bird and the new sheriff in town. All this stuff. It's just, ah, I, just I, I love Jordan 7. It got a story with it. It's related to Michael Jordan 1992 when I first got them sevens. It's just the real nostalgia going on. I was just now really knowing who Michael Jordan was and knowing about the game of basketball and being just finding something else that I was into in life. And this shoe, I mean these these shoes, right? When they make these theme shoes and it represent that, it's just nostalgia without it actually being an OG color. Now, like, how, how closely? Because they look a lot like the Olympic twins. They don't look as much like the Olympics as you think they do. Mm -hmm. like, oh, okay. I needed to see that because yeah. that's a completely different shoe. Yeah. They were just <laughs> they really just, reminding me. Yeah, they different. But they, they something, something else the midsoles, look like that too. The midsoles is, Carmine's is what you're thinking. Because that's what everybody say look like the Olympic and the Carmine mm -hmm. and the baby black CDs. Gotcha. So. Um, but yeah, that's my number two. Alright. I bet they want to like, what the number one yes, is? Yes, I'm man? wondering what your number one is at this point. <laughs> hey. You, it's your time. You, you. Oh, number one? Yeah. So finally, my number one is the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low. Uh, everybody would call these reverse mochas, but it's some kind of other name to it. This ain't really mocha colors. I can't never remember the other name with the actual name, but it don't matter. Let's just go reverse mocha for the sake of argument. Air Jordan 1 Low. This is actually the shoe I spent more money on than any other shoe this year, and I really wanted it. And <laughs> she didn't like that. You know. we, she she really didn't like that. Like that, that's why it's number one. That's one of the main reasons why it's number one. Not because she didn't like it, but because I didn't want the shoe really bad. To me, this shoe is so wearable. Just you can wear this shoe with almost anything, man. It's wearable. It's a wearable sneaker. Like that, that them tan, like vintage looking. It just look vintage out already. You can dress up with it. You can dress down with it. It's a joy one low. Jeans, black pants, jog, anything, joggers, socks, whatever. You can wear this shoe with almost anything. Most wearable shoe that I bought this year by far. And every I wore it one time already, and it was it, and it's actually comfortable. A Jordan One Low is super comfortable, so I don't know, man. It's I just Jordan One's comfortable. Dope materials, y'all already know they do collabs. They put dope materials, and um, y'all can call me a hype beast all you want to. This is my top ten. I love this shoe. I'm glad I was able to cop it, even though I had to spend an arm and a leg for it. You ain't gonna be able to get them without spending that. So anyway, my number one of 2022 is the Air Jordan One Lows Travis Scotts. What you got for number one, well, kids? I always hate them. Um, you anyways, like them on my feet though, and I warm. I did, but I'm 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 still mad every time I think about it. <laughs> anyways, um, my number one out of the Chicago one. Yeah. And yeah. I needed like I literally out of all the red, white, and black shoes I had, I never had this color blocking, and I really, really, really wanted it. Yeah. And so the last time it dropped, it was so limited, and I got mine like, like. Barely got mine, you know what I'm saying? And so one day, now, I remember you wanted them real bad. I was sitting on the couch, and we were sitting there talking about I don't know. Anyways, the doorbell rang, and he was like, "Oh, oh, this is for you." And I was like, "What you get for me?" You know what I mean? Like I, I wasn't expecting anything because for once I wasn't ordering from Amazon. And when I opened the box and saw the box, oh my god! Like well, I was once so you ordered from Amazon <laughs> for once every. Doorbell ringing every day with Amazon forever. <laughs> I'm so happy that's over. I was thinking and spending money, Lord Jesus. I'm she so was putting together Harley Harley room, but anywho, but when I opened the, <laughs> I showed it. Like you this time, to me out. Talk about it. When I opened the box and I saw the 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 ruin box or whatever it was, and yeah. I had already watched this video, I was like, my heart just melted because it was way after the release, and I just honestly had already gotten to a place where I was like, she I'm was, not gonna get them. She him. accepted the fact that she wasn't gonna get them because I didn't want him to pay resale for them, and I didn't. We couldn't and get them I out didn't of the store, resale. and Shout I out. was just like, I ain't gonna get them, and then I had them. So shout out to my Vegas guy, P. Wow. 
straight me straight up with um Zion Jordan One Lowe's for this shoe right here for the wife. Um and it just it perfect. It happened perfect. I didn't really want designs like that, but I tried for them and majestically I hit for something I ain't really care about like that on Nike sneakers. And when he said he had a size uh seven and a half in these, these are seven and a half, right? Yeah. And I said, bro, let's trade for the Zions. He was like, straight up? I said, straight up, let's do it. And then I said, I ain't gonna tell Kiki. And then they came, arrived. There you have it. Yes. I was so, so thankful. I know y'all probably gonna agree with her number one more than mine, but I had to do put the more close. Number three, you know, was my Chicago's. It is, but like you said, you already had them, so yeah. it's, it's not the same for you. But for me, I didn't. I was that was always the goal. Like I need this particular blocking, and I right. could not get it. So and you finally got. I got Chicago's. it. So now I don't want to wear them because I'm like, if they get messed up, then I ain't gonna have them no more. That's, that's what I'm starting to run into a lot. And but I don't the, like the good that. thing like, about I'm, it, I'm never going to be doubling up on anything. But if it, I, mean, like, I ain't doubling up no more either. I mean, basically, shoes coming around so. The year's going by so quick. I'm basically doubling up without trying to double up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so I got Chicago 2015. I got these. But good thing about these, they kind of got a pre vintage look on them. So you ain't going to, unless you just dog them out, I feel like they'll still keep that look. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I don't know. I got to, I got to, I got to, I got to eliminate some shoes so that I can wear the other shoes. Like, I just, it's, it's, it's so overwhelming at this point. Still. You see how I feel then? I just, I feel like. At least you can kind of wear your shoes during the week sometimes. You yeah, can wear them to the I'm office to the and the stuff like that. And everything. I can't wear my shoes number on the weekends and I got like triple what you got. So it's just like. Yeah, it's just, I, I gotta stop. I told myself, I'm not doing this in 2023. I won't have a top 10 in 2023. Yeah, right. Not, I gotta stop. There's some heat coming out in 2023 too. It's supposed to be, but like most of them, most of them, ironically, most of them shoes you don't really crazy about like that. Oh, well, good. That's awesome. A lot of ones dropping. Out. I definitely think I'll be getting some more New Balances though, because those are really, yeah, really. She's been trying on New Balances at the moment. And they have so many different colorways that like, oh, this will be cute with this, and this will be cute with that, and so I think they they might I might have a lot of those, and then they cheap. Like a lot of them was just on sale. Now I won't lie, I'm not a big fan of like the 550s and the other the newer silhouettes. They kind of look like granddaddy shoes a little bit for me i don't like those are the huge, most popular ones i know because i think people like that little gucci balenciaga huge big shoe i don't like big shoes like i need them to my feet are already fat i need them to be sleek and they they so for me those were better okay. the 574 i ain't gotta have none of them they're not bad i just i feel like i spent money on that it's just like dang i could have spent money on but you don't like them comfortable shoes Man, look, all these shoes are in my top 10 comfortable. There's no way in the world that those A Mama Nia is going to be comfortable. They wear five pounds a piece. You I are actually, not going to be able I actually heard they weren't comfortable too. Yeah. They, they, and it wasn't because of the weight, it was because of the materials on the inside. They feel slippery like silk. Like, uh, nah, nah, they, they definitely heavy. Maybe. Yeah, I can see what that's going to be a problem too. And this is a 12 Against and a half some too. socks. Mm hmm. Uh, but they fine, so we'll we'll make it work. Anyway, appreciate y'all for watching y'all top ten. Comment below what you thought about Kiki top ten. What you thought about my top ten? What would I'm you? I'm sure have, that I did not win. What would you have switched out? It's not a competition. It's it just we just showing our top top ten. What would you have switched out for? What comment? Let us know. As always, we appreciate y'all for watching. Absolutely. Y'all have an amazing 2023. Oh, have an amazing We wish you nothing but love, peace, prosperity. And blessings, success, man. Success, blessings, everything that, that your heart can desire. Like, we're going up. We hope, hopefully, hopefully, because I said that last year and it's been tumultuous. But um, we got, we got a lot of keep on speaking positive. We got a lot of dope shoes and nothing else. And we we actually fared off a lot better than other people did. I mean, we haven't been through it. This has been a tough year, but, yeah, but it could have been worse. So. It definitely could have been a whole Absolutely. lot worse. So anyway, appreciate y'all for watching. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, notification bell, so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up. One more time for the year. To the moon on them. That was scary. And anyway, keep <laughs> watching. Find him something else to do. Keep watching my videos, cause that's what I'm here for. Bye y'all. Gone. Yeah. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early hits from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as to bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just might hit. With richest kicks, I mean my rich. Yeah, ballin' all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going to the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. Yeah. My rich fans, shout that's what I cop the gift for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. Gone. All the way up to the moon on them. What's happening to everybody? Yeah. Like so lighty daddy Bless. Hit that Nike snow just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby Then yeah. we fly to Abu Dhabi, then we gone Straight up to the moon on them hey.